Hey guys, welcome to Make Two and the last episode of our Fallout Shelter series. I say this is going to be our last episode because, as you'll see, when we go into the vault, I've unlocked pretty much everything I could unlock. I've built pretty much everything I could build. My happiness is at 86%. I'm pretty okay with that. And population is at holding at 100. It could go up to 200 max, I think, but I'm okay with 100 as well for now, or, you know, I'll, we'll see when I um, upgrade a couple of the living quarters in this episode. But basically, I just feel like I've done okay enough at the game. I'm not sure about incentives to continue. And yeah, I don't know. We'll just see what happens in this episode and see how we go. So as you'll see, one of my goals for getting a lunchbox now is to collect 18 outfits. I've collected 15 of 18. I've got two dwellers coming back from the wasteland and they're carrying a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, yeah, the first guy has already gotten me my lunchbox. So basically, I have been following a strategy of sending dwellers out, loading them up with radaways and stim packs, and then just letting them die out there, <laughs> and then just reviving them to, you know, bring back the loot that they've found. And this kind of works for me because it means I can leave them out in the wasteland exploring until they die and, you know, go ahead and live my life and not have to be tied to the game constantly. And, you know, while they're gone, they'll collect items and they'll also collect experience points and level up. So now that they have unlocked that lunchbox, I'm going to claim it and see what I get, if there's anything exciting. I've already collected my daily report for today, so happiness is at B+. Plus. It's been at B+, plus for the past three days. I think I missed a day in there, so it started the uh, seven days over. But anyway, let's check on the lunchbox. And there we go. Ah, more outfits. Water, great. Caps, sure. Ah, a new dweller. Okay, well he cannot be added until I upgrade living quarters, so why don't I go ahead and do that. Although I've got a whole bunch of babies waiting to be born, so that might take precedence, but here we go. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, there you go. Babies. Let's upgrade this one. Let's see if I can collect this guy. Come in, come in, before the babies get born. Yes. Okay, here's another baby. Let's see what this guy's all about. Okay, so he's got pretty high perception, pretty high intelligence as well, that's good. It's hard to find dwellers with high intelligence, so I'm... Ugh, more babies. So I am going to drag him... Oh, no. This guy should be... Nope, you should stay there. You should come over here and work on some of this stuff. Yeah. That's another goal, assign seven dwellers in the right room. But anyway, I think what I am next going to do... And I'm not clicking on these stim packs and right -aways because, as you will see, I'm at the limit, 55 each. Got a whole bunch of weapons I can now go through and assign, a whole bunch of outfits I can now go through and assign. And as will also become clear, I have kind of run out of dwellers to assign these various things too. Like everybody is pretty well loaded up with weapons and all of that. But of course, people can always, you know, do more. So. Yes, yes, you can not start a family. Ugh. Really? Preggers? Another one? Okay, great. Just got her unpregnant, and now she's getting pregnant again. Okay. I'm going to now build the latest thing that I've unlocked, and that is this Nuka Cola Bottler. 
and that is going to be a combination food and water production facility. It's going for 3,000 caps. I'm just going to go ahead and build that here near my fully upgraded power station. And wow, look at that. Okay, so this one requires dwellers with endurance and let's see if I can assign anyone. Okay, this dude, pretty decent endurance. The problem is I want to keep good people in the power rooms because they're the ones who are falling behind a little bit behind the water and food production. So I'm going to drag over a couple people from the water treatment plant into the new Nuka-Cola thing. Okay, completed assigning seven dwellers to the right room. It wasn't finished yet though, so let's drag over this guy with okay strength, pretty good endurance. No, not him. How about this guy? Charisma, three, yes. No, not you. <laughs> it's so, so difficult to drag people over correctly, which is one of the reasons I am reaching the end of my time with this game, I think. Just getting tired of the bugginess. Okay, I think it's this guy I wanted, yes? Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so what's that look like collecting-wise? Yeah, basically just adds food and water, which are pretty well maxed out now. Okay, let's see if I can give you some better weapons. Why don't you take this? And you can take... Why not this? Seems to be producing pretty well. Does anybody in here need a higher weapon? Nope. I think these guys are all assigned pretty well. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm clicking around and basically pretty much everyone is weaponed up. And I mean, this is a good thing because if rad roach infestations break out, it is far better to have dwellers equipped with things. So in terms of the game itself and my thoughts on it, I just think I've collected and tapped and built pretty much everything I'm interested in building. I know that I could build all the training rooms and maximize the population up to 200, but I just feel like I've been doing quite a lot of that for two weeks now in terms of, you know, making all of this that you see on your screen. And yeah, I'm just not sure that I really feel a compelling urge or reason to continue. So yeah, I just thought I would make another episode to show that building of that last thing and um, kind of formally wrap things up for you guys. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed our Let's Play series. Thanks so much for all of the advice that I've gotten in the comments, how to play the game better, how to not screw up the game. It's been a really fun experience trying to kind of learn this new game along with a whole bunch of people. And yeah, I really enjoyed it, but just sort of feel like I hit a natural stopping point if there's some cool new update to the game, I may well come back and make another episode. But until then, you know, we'll put a pause on it. So thank you again so much for watching. Feel free to stick around our channel if you've subscribed. We play lots of building and simulation mobile app games. But if not, then hopefully we'll see you again at some point in the future. Thanks for watching.